Hello and welcome to another sketchbook tour. This is my Sea White of Brighton sketchbook and I started this on the 16th of August 2020. This first picture was from um, CC Creations workshop online using Moon Glow and Gold with my Inktense pencils. I enjoyed it so much that I did another one. I really liked the way that the gold shimmers on this. I carried on using the Moon Glow paint to do this kind of abstracty poppy design um, painting and then moved on to gouache, I think this was, with um, trying to do donuts. Not very successful, I don't think. I like this next one which is um, a cactus scene with watercolours and I used salt to get that texture on some of the cactuses. I like the different shades of green as well in that one and the pop of pink. One of the favourite things that I learned was doing uh, negative painting and I really liked starting with a pale layer, getting darker, getting darker again and then getting really dark to give that feeling of depth, um, so that was fish. And then I tried a kind of similar thing with landscapes and if you've seen my videos before you'll know I do quite a few of these when I get the inks at Christmas. I start with pale colours at the background and then get darker and darker till I get to the foreground and I like the way the colours layer on top of each other. I should make better notes though about what colours I'm using. This is a similar idea with purple. Um, trying to space things out differently and use different shapes. Just give that city scene. Sometimes I do that when I don't really know what I want to paint. Talking of not knowing what I want to paint, I don't remember what this was. Um, I do know there's some iridescent paint in there and I've gone over it with silver pens. This was back to the moon glow. Um, just some flowers, random flowers. Uh, this one, I think again was a CC Creations video on YouTube and I used washi tape to create a window effect. Then I did the background. Well, I might have done the pot first, then I did the background. And then I just did random flowery type shapes with, I think we only had three colours maybe we were using and then I doodled on top of it. Um, these are my two original characters. Um, I can't remember why I did these or what I was thinking, but anyway, there they go. And then this must have been heading towards kind of October time, a lovely pumpkin display where I layered the colours. It took a long time to do this one because I had to wait for each layer to dry. And then this one again with the washi tape, creating lines. I painted different colours into. I may well go back and zentangle in each of those spaces, but I like the way some of the colour had dissipated. Um, this next one was my neighbour's cat. I uh, had a picture of the cat and I'm um, not too sure about the eyes, but I had fun painting it. And here we have another cityscape. This time I used a few more colours and I quite like the colour scheme on that one. This is a tree, tree of life, stained glass effect. I think this was probably a YouTube thing as well where I splotched in the colours onto wet paper. But this paper is not always the best for doing that kind of thing. Again with the washi tape and creating spaces to, to put watercolours in and then zentangling on top. I think I was probably only just beginning to zentangle at this time. Um, but I really liked the way the colours had kind of mixed and blended on that one. And then this was some ginkgo leaves. Again, I used some gold, I think it was actually gold paint to do the stem. This one, I wish I could remember who I did this with. It was a hilarious um, workshop online, brilliant. And then this one was a prompt um, and I used one of my Christmas inks, I think, for the background, or maybe it was a paint. I can't remember. This was trying to do trees of different shapes. 
and then practicing some roses. I cannot get roses right. Um, I think this paper again wasn't the best. And then this next couple of pictures was, or were, sorry, trying to do one colour um, and then layer it up. Um, start with it very pale and, and layer up. So the green one was leaves. This one was, this blue one was just ovals and circles. I may go back and zentangle. And then the triangles. I think that must have been more than one colour looking at it now. I like the layering effect. Uh, these were done with core watercolours and it was a Diane Anton workshop um, with the sheep. Quite enjoyed that one. And then this was, I think these might have been some metallic paints that I got. I can't remember the make. And then these ones were just playing around with some paint. I think I didn't know what to paint that day. These odd leaves are some of Julia Kay from Sweden, her handmade watercolours. I like those very much. And I can't quite remember what these are, but they might be the fountain pens I've been re using just recently. This is the Silent Night ink from Diamine. And I love doing these landscapes where you start with it really pale and then work up to getting really deep layers there. And there's a kind of red tinge on it. Very nice. This next one, again, trying to do the roses. And I think this was, again, with some of the inks that I got in the ink vent calendar. These were some watercolours. Um, I think they might have been the A. Gallo, even though I'm holding up the rosa ones in the picture. I remembered afterwards they were the A. Gallo paints that I got. And I liked the way that they granulated and kind of merged together. I think it was just some odd paint on my palette and I again didn't know what to paint so just did that. I didn't use this sketchbook for a while and then the other week I went to Leeds Art Gallery and Library and I, I chose a book off the shelf and I sketched it very quickly while I was there and then coloured it in with watercolours when I got home. These were some um, quick sketch characters using my Fude pen um, again at the gallery. And then this one was at the Royal Armouries in Leeds. The proportions on this horse are all wrong. Um, but I did like the way that the um, picture ended up with the shiny paint. Then I did a speed sketching online thing with Art Safari. Um, it was birds was the theme for this. We only had a few minutes for each picture. And out of all of it, I particularly like this penguin and these penguins that are swimming here. I think I was getting into the swing of it by then and kind of letting go and being a bit looser. These birds, I think with some of them, I went like with the green ones, I went directly in with watercolour. I was very brave. Um, did do an outline there, but haven't finished that. And then the next two pictures are the scroller box 101. Um, these were the Boyer crayons and we had a De La Rowney black acrylic pen. So it's a one line drawing. I prefer the bird to the, the bear. The bear didn't end up looking like a bear. Although well, I was impressed with how layered I managed to get it. This was just a swatch page with um, the Derwent graphitin pencils that you can um, water with. Uh, I think I used a water brush, but they were very nice. And then these are the beginnings of my 100 day project. I used um, a set of ink fountain pens that I've got, coloured ink already in them. They're disposable ones. But I just had fun playing with these and they're water soluble. So I drew and then I used a water brush just to melt the ink out really. Um, for day two, I had to go at doing some mushrooms just some fun mushrooms, not based on anything real in particular. And then day three, I decided I wanted to do some kawaii, kawaii is that how you say it? Art, um, just with some fun eyes on it and things. That was quite a fun page to do, actually. I might do more of that. Day five and, sorry, day four and day five, I decided to do some shells. Day five is on the left-hand side because I realised with this supply, 
I can use both sides of the paper. I haven't done it all through the book, as you'll have noticed. Day six and day seven, I decided to do some outfits, um, just having fun sketching, and then using the water brush again. Um, day eight, I did this um, bouquet in a vase. Quite pleased with the rose there. That came out pretty well this time. And then day nine, some mushrooms. I like the pink one at the bottom. And then that was just some swatching of those crayons. So there we go, a finished sketchbook. Thanks so much for watching. Cheerio now.